Hi ladies, back to our favorite program, Women and Business. We are in Jogja now, and as we all know, Batik Jogja is one of the roots of our nation's culture. The pattern, motif, and color of Batik Jogja are full of philosophies of Japanese mythology. So, in this segment, we will go to Watas, where Mavi Batik, belonging to Lina Marlina, is located. Halo, nama saya Lina Marlina. Saya pemilik Mavi Batik Traditional House. Failure will not be her demise. She is Lina Marlina, who has tasted the bittersweet flavor of entrepreneurship. She once operated in the business of imported fruits. However, this business she ran together with her husband was not fruitful at all. It instead earned Lina a big amount of debt. Amidst the financial difficulties, Lina changed her mind and tried her luck in the art of batik. From there, her business, Mafi Traditional Batik House, started to grow. Dulu saya uh, usaha di buah impor, malah udah distributor karena mengalami kendala kegagalan. Saya sampai habis semua ya, minus gitu tuh. Setelah itu, du, uh, 2013, alhamdulillah saya uh, kenal di batik itu karena di uh, Perumahan Jati Mas Permai ini saya ajak ibu-ibu untuk biar ada kegiatan. Alhamdulillah kita bikin kelompok. Setelah bikin kelompok, kelompok dinamakan namanya kelompok Sekar Jati Mas ya dulu itu. Setelah Jati Mas agak maju, saya berusaha untuk lebih berkaya. Makanya saya mandiri dan membuat brand sendiri dengan nama Mafe Tradisional Batik House. Her journey in diving into this new found water made Lina grow to love crafting batik as she found calmness in doing this art. Along the way, Lina delved deeper into this and she learned a lot about batik. In return, this mother to four children was often invited to teach other people in her neighborhood about the art of batik. Untuk uh, sekitar sini ya lingkungan di sini yang paling terdekat ya itu sebagian sih ada yang lebih uh, suka terus uh, menyu, apa namanya mau belajar lebih untuk batik untuk ibu-ibu yang lain uh, diberikan keterampilan uh, mungkin dari keturunan batiknya sendiri kayak dibikin kalung uh, terus bikin sandal. In Mafi Traditional Batik House, Lina tends to create more traditional classic motif, which there exist three motif she often uses. Uh, kita lebih banyak menggunakan motifnya itu motif klasik, uh, motif uh, tradisional yang terdahulu ada, cuman kita kadang direplokkan lagi untuk di, dibikinkan motif, tambahin dengan motif-motif uh, yang lain. The first step in making batik is drawing on the surface of white cloth using pencil, then, using chanting, we color it. After that, to perfect it, we could just apply one color or even combine it with other colors. The price of monochromatic batik is relatively cheaper than the multicolored ones. Kalau di mape batik itu, kita mempergunakan uh, batik cap, batik tulis, juga kombinasi tulis. Kita juga mem mempergunakan uh, pewarna alam. Uh, pewarna alamnya jenisnya banyak sekali, ada jolawe, ada tingi, ada tegeran, ada buah nangka. Tapi kita memakai yang uh, sering digunakan itu uh, indigo. There are several types of product that are produced by Mafi, such as pajamas, formal clothes, necklace, name tag, and sandals. Baju jadi seperti baju ini kan ya, terus uh, kalung, name tag. Uh, sama sandal. This kind woman decided to join as a partner of BNI so that her business can go forth without hitch. Furthermore, BNI has become a bridge for Lina to promote her products abroad. Alhamdulillah, saya banyak banget dipasilitasi sama Bank BNI untuk ikut pameran-pameran besar yang ada di Jakarta. Seperti kemarin itu tahun 2017 itu di Warisan, 
Terus belum lama ini kemarin di, di Colomadu di HUT BUMN uh, saya juga diikut sertakan. After she had partner up with PNI, she hoped that in the near future PNI would always support her business and PNI could give more training programs to SMEs and invited them to participate in more exhibitions abroad. Harapan saya untuk BNI mudah-mudahan tidak bosan untuk memberikan fasilitas kepada UKM-UKM yang ada, termasuk saya pribadi, jangan bosan memberikan binaan untuk para pengusaha-pengusaha pemula yang mau mengikuti acara pameran ataupun untuk pelatihan-pelatihan untuk memberikan wawasan ke mereka. Thank you.